Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you cool technique and cool way how to make paper cut, paper rip transition inside of Premiere Pro and After Effects. And also we will use our hands just a little to make everything more natural and more smooth. Without further ado, let's start with making textures and right now all we need is piece of paper, black background and our phone. We need to prepare textures for future animation. We need to use white paper and black background. It's really important to find a black background that doesn't have any glossiness or reflections. Now I'm using two glossy background and I had to retake those photos again. Don't be me and use proper background. And by cutting and ripping pieces of paper we need to take photos. It depends on how many frames you want to have in your final transition. In my case it's gonna be 8. I find this as perfect number. Therefore minimum photos should be 4, cause we can use one image twice. But it's better to take 8 or more photos. And the last thing, we need to take few photos of the craft paper for secondary textures. I will use this one, I like how textures and imperfection look like. And these photos will be applied on top of our clip during the transition. When we finish with that, we need to send photos from our camera or phone on our hard drive. And see you in Premiere Pro. Ok, I am in Premiere Pro and I have two clips already here on the timeline and uh, first of all I work in full HD resolution and now I need to navigate between two clips and uh, find the beginning of the transition and from this point I need to count 8 frames 5, 6, 7, 8 trim the bottom one I don't need any extra frames here and then I will add 2 extra frames and here I make my first edit I use hotkeys, but you can use uh, razor blade. Then I go back uh, to the beginning of our transition and giving two extra frames at the beginning. I like to have uh, ability to have few extra frames in case I want to make this transition longer or any other reason and this makes me safe in the future. And I don't need to re-export everything out, so it's like a sweet spot for me. Amount of frames is influencing the duration of the transition. In my case it's gonna be 8, so I counted that 8 is a perfect number for me. Ok, now we need to select those two clips and make a right click and replace with After Effects composition. And this will pop up After Effects. In After Effects we need to save this project, let's name it like here and we have our clips in After Effects, which is nice. So let's start with adding our textures. To do that I will create a new folder and let's name it as paper. And let's find out our images on our computer and import into After Effects. Just drag and drop. Ok, I will create new composition. It's gonna be our main paper composition. It's gonna be full HD but you can make it bigger if you want. But for now full HD is fine. And it's gonna be 8 frames. Let's drag and drop our first uh, image and I need to rotate it to 90 degree like so and let's place it. Now I need to create new adjustment layer. Ok, and I will add levels here. So let's find out levels effect and let's make this image more contrast. So the idea here is to separate background and uh, paper. As you can see we have some uh, white dots and white spots on the background which is not so good and we need to fix it. And one more thing I want to add is a tint effect to make this image black and white and depends on your phone settings uh, this paper can be more warm or more blue depends on the white balance. With the tint effect I'm safe I know that paper is white and now we need to fix these white spots. If you want you can use Photoshop before and make it in Photoshop. We are real motion designers and we work only in After Effects. So I will use Mask tool. Alright, let's start with the Pen tool. Select our image. And now I want to cut out white spots and separate our paper from the background. Mask shouldn't be like really perfect. 
but the idea is to reduce amount of these white spots. Okay, and we are ready. Let's place this paper a little bit higher and it's going to be our first frame. Our animation will start from the top, so therefore I will place this image as the first frame on top, like so. And also I need to trim this image. Alt and break it to make it shorter, like so. Now I will duplicate this image and I will remove the mask. Just select this mask and hit delete. And now let's replace this uh, image with another one. Just drag and drop with holding Alt key. And this will replace our old image with the new one. I do this in a purpose to save scale and position and rotation from the previous frame. And also I will use the mask to cut out the paper from the background. Okay, let's place it higher. And now I do the same. I duplicate the layer, replace with Alt key and delete the mask. And I will create the new one. And follow the same steps for all other layers till you fit the timeline. Let's go to main composition and drag and drop our paper texture and here I need to rearrange our layers these two videos one should be below the other right now I use After Effects uh, 2023 but if you are an older version you need to place paper texture above the video clip like I do now and switch mode to Lumomate now I'm showing you how it looked in the previous version and if you are in 2023 just uh, use pick whip and connect to paper okay let's duplicate this frame again the reason why i do this because i want to have and setting track made to none and cut this layer a bit like so and now i have this nice transition Okay, this is what I'm looking for and the one thing I want to add is to be able to see uh, paper on the edges while transition is happening. Therefore, I'm going to duplicate our paper main and let's rename it to paper visual. Drag and drop our paper main on top of the paper visual composition and let's apply tint effect and make white into red for example and let's decrease opacity something like this and this layer will be our guide and right now i need to change position of each uh, layers to make it a little bit of the guide layer like so and do the same with the second one you, we can change the position a bit and scale it down for example do the same offset change the position and this one we can make it a little bit bigger like so and do the same with all other layers and one more thing uh, let's go to composition settings and let's add one extra frame and duplicate one of the uh, layers here and place it and it's going to be our last frame paper main composition we can delete we no longer need it as you can see, we have this paper animation right now. And now I will delete levels from the adjustment layer. Okay, we are in the main composition and let's place this paper visual composition above the bottom layer. Let's move it forward on our timeline like so. And here we see the effect. But the problem is that we have these black uh, areas here and let's fix it. All we need to do is to duplicate this paper visual and let's apply levels. Let's make this image more contrast to be able to see only white and black areas, like so. And now we also need to switch mode to Lumomate. And now we see only paper. Okay, now it looks awesome, almost what we want to have in the final video and also if we go back to Premiere Pro we, we are able to see this effect already. Okay, we're almost done. Let's add a few more extra things. Let's create new null object and let's connect all layers to this null. Let's go to the beginning of the transition and hit S, P, R. 
we need to scale position and rotation and let's set first keyframes now let's select those keyframes right click and toggle hold keyframes okay by changing this mode we are able to to set motion only when we place new keyframes okay let's uh, change some values here make it bigger change rotation a bit and play with the position and the idea here is to create this uh, jittery wiggle effect and in the end of the transition we need to reset all settings and make it our scale 100 rotation 0 and position right click and reset so we are back to our original settings and what we are doing here is we are trying to recreate this uh, paper effect if we printed these images and took photos okay let's create new texture folder and let's add our uh, photos with textures and create new composition with the uh, name of textures let's place our textures here so each texture will take only one frame let's uh, trim it like so and change the position let's duplicate also alt and replace now we can play with those uh, textures we can rotate it we can change some other values to make it a bit different than previous one and we need to fill our timeline with uh, our photos one image we can use several times just rotate it okay and we are good to go now we can check this what we have here now it's too quick but we'll see how it works in our main timeline go back to main timeline place our texture place it on top and also before we apply any changes to our mode let's add uh, levels and make it more contrast and change mode to multiply as you can see we have this nice paper effect it looks really cool like a real printed image and the last thing I want to add is to add shadow to our paper so let's select paper visual the the bottom one right click layer styles drop shadow and in the settings we need to change angle and let's make it more smooth as you can see now we have like a more clear more vivid edge between those two clips and now we can go back to Premiere Pro and see this effect and the one more thing that we want to add is a little bit of sauce uh, let's add some music we can go to freesounds.org it's a cool website with a thousand of free sounds and let's add it into our project as you can see we achieved pretty good result and everything looks really natural and really professional and I hope you get this idea and you know how to use it and then you can implement in your commercials, in your music videos or something and I hope it's clear for you. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on my channel. I will really appreciate it and see you in the next videos. Peace!